across, then that's where life is going to get a little bit more difficult, right? So uh, you, get a, you get a flavor of both styles of Platinum Outbreak Dust too, and this is for survival, right? This is for survival, so everybody at home needs to understand the stakes, right? There's a lot on the line here. You're going to be eliminated, first team eliminated from the European side of things. Nobody wants that. Yeah, everybody wants that extra best of three, whether it be, you know, you go out in the next one or you keep going, but it's more experience. If you win today and you stay in the competition for a little bit longer, they get to live the dream for a bit more, but Unique versus Quasar. We'll finish here on Dust 2. We'll see what Quasar will have up their sleeve on this T side. Smoke Flash for Lazuka, and we'll see what the rest of the squad have got in mind. It's a very good V spawn here, and they're going to try and use it. Oh, jump spotting right now. So Faxor's just trying to see him. Oh, if they go lower dark, and he's actually spotted on that jump peak. Aggressive short and mid stance. We saw this from the likes of Eternal Fire a little bit earlier, and coming into his domain, lower dark is the point of affection. And oh, Duke Fasura, of course, he's the man to open things up. Sorrow's going to take down Spirit, and the S's are down for Quasar. Great start here for Unique. Faxor goes back into the mid fight to spot at long range. You don't really want to fight the USP at that kind of range. We've got a Glock, so. Closing down the space quickly is the name of the game here for Quasar. And they go into middle instead. Uh, the bomb, it needs to get up towards short of the rest of the squad. It can't go through those mid doors alone. So <laughs> Zeka will join the squad. Uh, they still have a bit of utility here, right? This was bought in with the P250, with, and he's actually uh, donated across. So let the man work. See if he can find a pick with this P250. He's got some good aim here, Lazeka. Can definitely crack open a skull or two. They could just walk out, you know? They could. I mean, they're not really getting info upon this one. Finally, they'll drop back with the Hex down. Oh, it comes up and so oh, 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 that is clean. Two headshots in the USP, and Smiley gets involved towards the end. Unique with a first round here on Dust2. A beautiful shooting there as well. That's the key. Uh, I said AIM was going to become name of the game. Well, those USPs sing. They decimate Quasar, and now it's going to put into question how this game is going to start. Because over there on Overpass, it was the Force by Wars. We had eight consecutive rounds, maybe we're nine. We're back to back. Force by is going either way. And here's those crispy taps, beautiful stuff there, just seeing the cusp of the head that's over the lip of the wall. And they do try and cross out on the bridge, and it is going to be uh, a relatively sound eco round. It's gonna be the oh! Ah. Yeah, I was going to say, it's just going to be the dealer frothy. And this is what we're talking about. Bang! Let's see if he gets a couple more. Sees one jump across, it's actually going to bait them into Ice's line of sight here. Oh, short. Oh, the lower tunnel peak should come up. Yep, it will. Oh, it's happily collects that in a couple of kills there for Smiley at range with the rifle. And now the MP9 being sent up into the mid fight. Just trying to capture money here. It is close to getting a few. Finally, it will be closed out. 2 0 start here for Unique. But yeah, you can never really sit back and, and not expect the Deke to find something there. It does get one, and that's what you can get out of this. But the rifle's now picked up. I'm curious to see if Ice wants to get in towards lower dark again. He does have the spawn to do so, and it's something that you can try and do early before the AWP comes out to play for the T side. You can always drop down mid, and there's that Deagle shot. Bang, beautiful, beautiful work there on the pistol. You can always drop down and throw the molly towards the mid doors. Ah, on cue. Thank you very much, Lazika, as he's going to deny that play. That's going to give them at least the lower dark control, but guess what? It's out long. Space taken here. No real resistance as mid control is gone. You can see that smoke trickled on out towards the Xbox position, the aggressive play on short as well. And if they can get down in towards lower dark, they can call things clear and they can understand that they are going to be working with it. Lion share long play. Frothy to join the party. Another smoke towards mid. And yeah, they're actually going out to seek this information. So Ice to tuck himself in towards lower. Duke to assist him during all of this. And so the backpedal from long now are ah, Quasar. So they are worried about this space that they've lost. So an Xbox sp smoke thrown out from the long heart there. Well placed. Give them a bit of room to work with. And if they're aware of the lower dark play, they could either go and hunt it out or take the fight towards A. Timing here for Sorrow. And he's into oh. it. Lazeka to the headshot. Sorrow out. And now they'll continue to charge forward here. But the bomb is caught. It's caught at the back. Duke for Sora severs that off. But it should be picked up no problem. And sent back up through short. This time they're going to batter their heads off the battle against Winter. Forced wide here by the Molly. Smiley's flashed in towards Lawn for the peak against Shady, but oh! oh! I felt like Shady had the advantage there, but Smiley hits the headshot, Chad, and now the short play's coming up. Like a laser beam with that M4, and now he's looking for more. Smiley comes up to help out Winter, but Winter does not need any help. Two kills for him and Lazeka there trying to take the final frag. Easy for Ice. Let's and it's it a 3-0. Yeah, great stuff. Yeah, great stuff indeed. Uh, Team Unique, 3-0 star. Uh, you were talking about the CT star. Well, there we go. That, that's the bonus. Against the rifles that were picked up here for Quasar. This shot. That is the worst wow. thing that could have happened. Just really. two bullets straight to the dome. Boom, boom. No reaction really either. But, uh, 
Little tap tap and out of there. Well, it uh, is going to be a purchase in with a scout, at least for Froth Dog. He's going to get the tag on the cross. Winter kept on notice, but whether or not that's confirmed, that's a whole different question. Fast scaling mid, this green box position taken again. No green box there anymore. And, ooh, hello. Nice. He loves to be a nuisance around these mid doors, doesn't he? He absolutely does. And he goes out again. Another one found. He's loving the fact that they have the weaker weapons. I love how jarring they're being towards middle as well. This is Oh, I love this so much. It's so clean, it's so quick. It's yeah. clinical. It might change now that Shady has out the AWP, or he should do, yeah? He's immediately purchased into that. It's something you can get away with before the AWP comes out. You saw before we highlighted the fact that it was Doors presence was denied by that Lazika Le uh, Molotov. Wow. Ooh. Yeah, this game's getting close now. 15 to 12 in favor of Heroic over there. Na'Vi pulling that all the way back. That was looking like it was a done deal from Map 2 for Heroic, but Na'Vi potentially pulling it all the way back to overtime. Hard to put Na'Vi away, isn't it? Really hard. And now we'll see if Shady can get involved with the AWP. I didn't see it enough on the second map, to be honest with him. He didn't. He couldn't get it out on that CT side. I think that was virtue of the Force by Wars, right? I think we saw him get it out once, and then they saved it for him, and he found impact in both of those rounds. So... It is a little bit unfortunate because he's shown some mechanical ability on that big green. But here we go. Uh, oh, he's gone. I was going to say a standard round of play. Um, but that long doors peak does profit. Orp on Orp action and Shady in the grave. Zero and five. Spirit's going to try his luck on that zoom banger. Now Quasar make their way through the mid doors. Frothy the prone to the approach from the tunnel. So a B split is a possibility here. Goes in for the cross. Follow up just to prevent the boost. And ooh, Unique want to try and pull some control back. So they have a little bit of a boost here for Winter. But they're ready for it. Spirit to the kill. And now Ice holding up from the window. It's a double from him. Bump Great loose. output. Patruk for Sura catches them as they try and enter the site. So bomb down here for Frothy. And his teammates also follow. So how do you try and get back. up to that? Yeah, he has to go out the window, pick it up, and drop back here. But the problem is doing all that is impossible. And the scope's watching for you. Five in a row now for Team Unique. Yeah, they're really starting to show the class now as the better team here. They've been able to take care of business. They have a really good idea of how they want to play as a unit within these mid-rounds. No AWP available here. Lazik is going to buy into an AK-47. A scout in the hands of Frothy again. Some deagles alongside him. So just trying to keep this one costly here. But it was standard play there. You know, make sure that you're smoking off towards the tunnels. Two of you can peer on down and take those fights. And that's the final kill for Smiley, who is starting to impress now, isn't he? Separating himself from the pack. I think that's a uh, suicide smoke. It is. So looking to keep this aggression, they've even put an incendiary top mid. I really enjoy this more disruptive mid maneuver as Frothy trying to find somebody through the smoke. And the more you take away that orb, the more you can get away with this. So you go loving the fact that too much resistance. Scout rings out towards top mid, back towards down a little bit to 60. Or shadow on the wall there allows Ice for the swing out. That's always a problem. Shadows can be your worst enemy. Ice is up to eight kills. Smiley up to seven. Smiley yet to die. Yeah, I, I, I really am loving this approach. The, it, 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 not that it's no respect. It's a, it's, a, it's a setup all the time. They're playing off of each other. Duke's going to get smoked off. Flash on over. They will get access in towards... Well, they almost had access in towards Ace. Smiley's going to pluck Spirit out of the piece. And just three more to find right now. Jenny climbs on top of the box. Now Sora holding short, but Lazeka straight away there to the kill. Oh, follow up for Lazeka, finally taken out. And he's going to be frustrated about that one because he was just starting to get into a rhythm, but he's created enough space for that bomb to go down. And Quasar now with the Zeke's in hand, try to close it. It's just Shady. We've seen what he can do with this in his hand, but just so many players to find. The jump! The headshot, oh, oh, oh. the chance for oh. oh. Shady down into the 1v1. The D is oh. impeccable. This guy's got mechanical skill for days. And he's got the first round for Quasar. Massive shooting. They kept giving him chances. You can't give this guy more than one opportunity right there. Their heads were presented time and time again. And eventually Shady will connect. Beautiful shooting. And a round that should have been unique. So it's going to fall by the wayside. Catch this one again. Bang. Winter gone. Jumping again. A second shot. Ice falls down. And even has the time to reload. The third shot through the cusp of the box right here. And bang. They're into the play. They're into the piece. Quasar making a statement off the back of Shady there. Oh. Another Deagle highlight. We, we said there were going to be highlights here, chat. We're straight away getting them on the Deags. Great to see out of Shady. I got to get myself a small mouse mat. Yeah, I, I'd love to know what this kid senses. Oh, probably somewhere available. But 
Crazy, crazy stuff. But unique though, you just gotta shake that one off a little bit. You're back to a buy again. Bit of a solid default here coming on out. This is what we've come to expect on a map like Dust2 ever since the mid-door change. Three towards the tunnels, one towards top mid, and one maybe sitting outside long, so taking some heat out of this one. They made it work with a lighter buy, and if they can do it again, they'll break the back and break the bank of Unique here, who have turtled two up and towards B again. You can hear those shots just as they hit the backboard of the upper tunnels to spam on through the smoke to confirm if anybody's up close and personal. But now working on this map control, hinge smoke, short molly, space to be taken as Util flies their way. But look at Unique, their economy of utility, right? The, the fact that they're not just limping this out willy-nilly. They're, they're using it at a well-placed time, 45 seconds. And look at all the residual nades left over here. This is beautiful right now for Unique. Only 30 seconds to make the round work. They're back towards long with three. Yeah, Duke, Duke could win this. What a, what a wild play this is. 20 seconds! Oh, the smoke, 20 seconds, still haven't got out long. I think they realize now they're going to go. They missed some sounds with a shot to the Duke for Sura, but he has stopped it from getting out the long side. Bomb needs to go through short now, but it's being held. Smiley can just focus on it. And uh, Quasar, you default, but you got to do something with it. And everybody goes down. Yeah, that is a rough one. Off the back of a Deagle highlight, this time not going to be able to find any space whatsoever. And it has to just be that utility that you look to to the key of the round. Because if you're at 20 seconds left and there's still a smoke in your face, you, you may be better off saving in that type of environment. So back down to a lighter purchase, but a purchase nonetheless. Two AKs, three Tech Nines, some smokes, some flashes, some Molotovs to play with here. But double orbs now being strapped onto the unique buy. One for Ice, one for Smiley. Let's see how much pain they can put down range. Ice is taking his over towards B. This actually might be the perfect play for Quasar if they can get in top of the B bomb site here. Aggressive short, aggressive mid. They love this forward stance, don't they? Well, they have dispersed a couple of players to the lower tunnel, and Winter will happily collect the life of one. Shetty's still here, swings out, forces the life out of Soro, and now swings to the double doors. Winter decapitates him, and now we focus on the oh. assassination of Ice, who takes down Spirit, oh. all heading to deck himself. Nice shot from Fax, so he wants more. Trying to get out, but all is loose, and so, oh, has to cross into the open, and Fax, or will go down to the gap of the doors. Smiley collects it easily, and now Frothy left in a one versus three. Tech Knight, oh, one coming in as well. He's dead to rights, Winter from the site itself. Confirms a seventh round for Unique. It is a little rough now that Quasar's one round was off the back of that Hero Deagle play. You weren't able to follow up on the opportunity. You will get somewhat of a buy into this round. But it's this disruption from Winter, man. It feels like I'm watching the same replay over and over again. Yeah, I love this mid stance. I, I think there's a couple of ideas here that maybe some teams could look to actually copy off from Unique. When teams are defaulting, they're doing flashes to peek on out from mid and short to fight towards lower dark. It might be a B-Rush here. Shady's actually into a Mac 10 So uh, it's a curious looking purchase. The Zika also only has a Deagle, so it's hodgepodge. It's, doesn't have all the trimmings. This is a, a budget meal. As long as it has meat and potatoes, Chad. The they veg is always good though. You need your vitamins. You do, but they don't taste as good. Here comes that deep contact smoke. It's a B-Split. Out the ruddy. Nah, you can't wait for this. You, you can't even split though. If you just one of, one of your split sides is stopped by Duke Masura. Now they go out into the midst of the battle. It's very disjointed here for Quasar, and it's going to be easy kills. You know, unique or not, kind of individuals aren't going to take those. You have to collect more. Throw so that out. You have to separate them. Just one more. Let's take it into the clutch. Now, it is a doable position, but Sora swings and realizes you can't have gone far, so. Uh, they're ready for that booster position, and the kill comes in. So 8-1 now. Team Unique looking very comfortable, and Quasar's T-side leaves a lot to be desired. Yeah, this is uh, extremely rough right now. Unless they can start riding the ship and turning it around, they might be uh, stomaching a, a bit of a shellacking here to be the first team eliminated from this group and, and contention for the major. Is, yeah, they, yeah? They, they look younger than me, some of them, and that doesn't happen often. No, let me take a look at the average age of this unit right here, because it's exciting to see some of these names and what they can offer. Maybe with a bit more time and a bit more polish, we might see them back on our screens again. But uh, Quasar, average age of 20.8. So, so the average uh, age is younger than me. Yeah, Lazika's 21, Frothy 21, Spirit is 19. You've got Shady coming in at 19 years young as well. And uh, Faxot around them out at 21. So, yeah, look, they can. most of them could drink in Vegas. 
get a party going. But, uh, you know, we haven't got a major in Vegas. We have got the PGL RMR in Bucharest and the major in Antwerp. So get your tickets. It was on screen now. You can go on and search that up on Google. Tickets still available. Zeka charging quick here, Quasar, trying to get up short, and this is very quick indeed. That disruptive mid play, well, it comes in again, but it can't really do much about it. And Trooper Sora tried to deploy utility, but we couldn't really get it down in time. So Lazeka straight through with a headshot. Now they're into the site. Oh, look at this up, Cat. In they go, and to contend against this, the orbs in CT. Sora's found one again, that aim on point. Yeah, Sora looking very good. And now goes again, he's oh. let loose, and Soro just rattling off the shots now. Spirit's turn. Yeah, Spirit getting involved, he's got the dig out now, and does damage on the fairway. Spirit's 10 HP, so throws that rifle on over to Froth, he sends him into battle instead, and um, oh, he goes down, you can't peek that, defuse. Ooh, it's on the other side of things, you can't really commit to it, now you, you get onto now, it. Though. Molly goes down, and Spirit needs to swing, he's oh. 4 HP, Ice takes him out, Defuse held, 9 rounds now for Unique. A moment where that one could have got out of control there, but uh, handled, taking care of business. This is uh, looking like a cruise control, safe landing for Unique after what was uh, victory for Quasar over there on Ancient, it's 16 to 10. They bounce back on their own map, Choice showed class as a unit, and continuing to do so here on Dust 2. So this is great for the Kazakhstani side. My, my favorite round is still the one that Quasar won, though. So. Yeah, well, I mean, they got that. Of course, you, you, you can't argue round. with that kind of type of a deagle <laughs> play, can you? Spirit set up, posted, flashed off, and burns down to 44 points of health. And I think Shady wants his all back if he could, but maybe Bogdan's Law will come into play with that low HP. And Ice, with a very aggressive position with his AWP, will have the B tunnels locked down. Short control taken. We'll need to push Sorrow back, and he's been great with a couple of the shots. The pistol round was great. That last round was pretty tidy too. As they do get control of this short position, Nade. Oh, it's yeah, good. Poor Shady. Two of the players chipped very low here. Throws up a nade of his own. Yeah, back and forth. The flak damage goes. Short play. Can they get out before the smoke? Little short he landing now on a juke for Sora. If Sorrow throws out this other nade, he's picked on up. Oh, I would have thought it would have been well timed there, but. Set them packing. So they fake out the smoke and now they go for the mid to B. They need to pounce on this one quickly. They have a small window of opportunity. Smoke goes down to the doorway. They might have to go through the window now themselves. Ice is actually going to position himself up with a boost. The transition gets caught. So Winter holds the site. A single kill. Plays are sheer numbers. Overwhelm the defense. But a retake, it is possible given the low HP done here to Quasar. Yeah, Duke could smoke tunnels and they could flash and go. But oh, on the gap, Spirit. Hasn't found the shot just yet, and he's transitioning. Oh, Spirit. Come on to Sora. That should be it now, surely, yeah, right? I mean, you have one kill on the retake attempt. You can't really go for yeah. it, right? You don't have utility to force them out. Save calls in. So, Quasar, they find a, an opening. I think they're expecting a bit more respect to be given there from Quasar, right? Because he's just peered on through the door. He's taken an easy fight, an easy kill, gets them their second. Maybe there is a half out of this one indeed. These saved weapon, weapons integral just to make sure they can continue to buy through the later stages of this half. But 9-2. to two. Good response there from Quasar. A good reactive play from them. Very quick down through to the mid to B. They scramble on towards the B side. And you can see with those jump peaks, if you get a missed timing, right, there will be a window of opportunity for you to really punish that B site. Because Ice took so much damage before the door smoke was. They wanted to funnel them through window. But uh, Winter a little bit late to react to that. And that was just, as I mentioned, down to the timing of the jump. So uh, not the end of the world by any means, but maybe will if they lose another consecutive round to Unique. Trickle the nade. Molly to follow, to Zeke a quick up cat, and he is going to trundle very fast. In the position of Sorrow stands, delivers. Ice gets oh. the first, Sorrow gets the second, and well, the potency of this round is already done. A minute 40 to work out a three on five. Well, the cog start turning for possible solutions that can be turned on out, but with they won't check him, and he'll happily collect that. It's been different setups in a lot of rounds here. Like, in this round, Winter's long. Previously, Winter was over towards B, so uh, maybe playing that spawn-based defense is unique. They're just playing around this double AWP setup. Yeah, it's been a different look at times for Unique. You know, it's uh, it's been difficult to, to counter as well if you're Quasar, right? Because it's constantly a different face every round. And now in the 2-on-5, just trying to walk out mid to B. So uh, this time, it's Duke over towards the doors on the jiggle. Mm. 
They can smoke CT and go, but they would need to get both of these kills, and Sorrow will respond with some spam if he's smoked oh, off. Him, and they've got the kill. Now they can smoke it, and they remove Sorrow. But that is the warning system now for the defensive side to be ready inside the beach site. Brawlty could make things a little hot and heavy and force that fight, and oh, forces the fight indeed, but Smiley wins it. Shady now trying to come through the window. Now this guy is incredible. But this round, this round seems so difficult. Goes to the clock, hits the headshot. Now the quick chance on a Smiley will eventually go down. And I absolutely love the stoic nature of this unique team. They don't, they don't they really don't smile. Like, they don't talk. They don't look like they're upset. They're just here to play Counter-Strike. Their <laughs> emotion is it. in the server, I suppose. I wonder how the communication is. I would love to just be... It just feels like they're barely even talking. Yeah, let's look at their mouths, I think, on the camps in this next round of play to really see how much communication is going on. But back down to a bit of a battered and broken bite. Nice shot there from Shady. That's about all they have to get excited about. He went to the burst fire. Yeah, he did. He burst fired the headshot, yeah. That's crazy. You don't see that often, like, the, the burst in the clock. Oh, no, if the feature. B explode. And Smiley's caught off Factor, so again, that distraction in mid won't be there. And the so same Winter worth it, boys. Focus. The same worth Mounts one, holding. Oh, Winter gets a double. Yeah, and keep on coming. The kills couldn't be easier for Sorrow. Low HP of Shady. And the conveyor belt of death. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to say it so soon, but we really do feel like we're going to head towards our logical conclusion of Unique picking up this third map of the series, staying alive. And poor Quasar, even though they have, I would say, had some of the best individual highlights out of any of the teams here at the tournament so far. Unfortunately, we'll be stomaching it out and being sent home as the first team removed from the group. Well, if they do leave, you know, 12 rounds of an army. That's your call to fame, I think. They won a map. They did as well. They absolutely did. Peek out, Juke the sword, takes down Lezuka. And, uh, you know, taught us a few more Russian words, Chad. So yeah, loophole. Yeah. So uh, next time I'm having a conversation in, in, in Russian, which I do quite often, I will uh, make sure I bring that one up. Bring it to the matchmaking servers. And let's find the loophole. There's uh, Smiley. He's been nice. uh, heating up, hasn't he? And, and, and as I said, it's, it isn't worth it. Once that mid prong goes out of this, they're so set up for all of these plays, aren't they? Short boost. Shady on the spot. Oof. Doesn't fire up. You can see them crossing at the same time there as well, making the target selection a little bit harder for the AWPA, but... Aggressive with this mid play one more time and ice up towards short with sorrow. We'll just stand, we'll deliver, and smiley makes it jarring towards lower peak. I dare you, they say, and there it is through the box. It's just getting peeled apart at every turn. I'm really liking some of the CT setups we're seeing here from Unique. I, I really am. I, and I'm not even trying to slather it on to seem mildly impressed. It's great. I'm loving what I'm seeing towards mid. There's a lot of thought given to this. It's great. You can't really put a foot wrong if you're unique at the moment. It's just easy. Uh, and they're playing off of each other very well. They're not really giving Quasar too many individual fights. And um, when we talk about the fact that Unique are a better team, let's be real, right? they are a better side when it comes to the actual team player counter. Yeah, right? that was evident on Overpass, wasn't it? Yeah, but so if you if you remove the fact of like setting up individual fights, you bring it down to a battlefield where it's all about the team play, well, Unique are going to have that easily. And are now pushing towards a 13-2 half here for the CT side. Yeah, they never really get let any of these rounds get out of control. And in the rounds that they did, Quasar ended up winning, right? So when they've been dictating the pace early, I, I think it's just been a lot of opening kills coming in the favor of these Orcs as well. Just another one. There it is. Likely to be this 13-2 half. As they're just so jarring. Oh, okay. That's something. Yeah, a little something, something from Shady. Brawlty uh, will go down alongside Shady wow. with Masura, the double mid play. It is now a single player left for the attacking side of Quasar. And Spirit with a Galil walking wounded for the time being. Starts to make his way out the longhouse, but it's being held on the other side. AK is dead. Winter doesn't care. 13 rounds. That's what we'll get in the first half here. Unique, three away. They find the pistol while well, they're sending Quasar home. Yeah, if they could have maybe mustered five, then I, I think the individualism could have stepped up again on the CT side because, because I, I, as we mentioned, the CT side, or well, the individuals on this side of things for uh, Quasar, they, they can deliver multi-kills. But now that they have so few rounds to work with here, this is more than an uphill battle. This is a mountain to climb. Well, uh, we've somehow caught up here, Dinko. Heroic versus Na'Vi is going into their third map of Nuke, which actually will be a barn burner. And it looks like we're going to be done with our third before 
That series which started before ours has uh, come to its conclusion. Hey, we're we're going to win. We're going to win the race, Chad. It's, I, I'm a little bit sad that it is a blowout here on map three because like we are sending one of these two teams home and I think obviously it is going to be Quasar unless they mount an epic comeback. Playing around the smoke is Shady. He steadies his aim. He's not going to fluster. Oh. Another one for him. He's going to oh. make it three. It is beautiful shooting. That's lovely. Shady is very good. Very they, good yeah, you can't argue with that sentiment. This kid, he's shown some fantastic individual rounds. I absolutely love his focus as well, Chad. Like the way he's so wired in, it, yeah. it's great. It's it's an intense player here. You can just see, look at the focus right now. His face as he moves forward. He wants another. He's just cleaning it up. Damage done. Oh, you get a bit wimpy towards the end, but hopefully not wimpy enough. This one goes the other way. He took for sure on the double kill. Ice goes down. In fact, so at least sweeps up the initial hard work. Uh, three rounds to the Quasar and a chance perhaps here to get off to a decent start and make the scoreline a bit more respectable, if nothing else. Shady could be one for the future, couldn't he? Yeah, absolutely could. I think he has like, the raw ability uh, and clearly the focus and desire. Uh, about whether or not he can get into a good roster, what path he takes as a pro at the moment. I think the last thing we need is another strong CIS AWPA though, isn't it? <laughs> There's enough <laughs> that, of them that's going the, that's around. That's the sad thing, right? You could be very good, yeah. but the spots available are finite in, the, in this competitive industry. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of other names out there. There's like Deco and Wonderful and, and a bunch of names. We're going to scale up Cat quickly. Space has been taken very, very fast. And here he is again. Oh shit, he's caught the heck of a bit of a A bit more wobbly with the rifle. Yeah, a bit more wobbly. Let me start the deagle that. Lezuka, the laser. We'll see if he can find himself anything. He's got a couple. Bomb plant will be taken for Unique. And uh, well, Job done. Yeah. Clean as you like. Taken. No problem. Yeah, so, I think right there, if you're getting the plant, we saw this happen with Unique earlier on in one of the maps as well, where they were able to, uh, they lost the pistol, then they get the plant down, and uh, their buy is looking fantastic, right? Because now you've got 6.4k for uh, Duke. He can drop an AWP over to Smiley. Uh, and I think that's exactly what they should be doing here. Purchases are coming on through. The guns are going to be exchanged. And AWP out in the hands of Shady now. So he also has his big green. The only real problem in the buy is going to be the MP9. Here we go. Could this be the death knock? Oh, Lord, he shot not far off, was it? No early intent. They've got an early player up towards Cat. And that will be Shady trying to apply that big green. You have the, the jump across the doors also being facilitated by Faxor playing for information to try and set his AWPA up. And look at this. The pixel perfect smokes are uh, a favorite around here as Smiley has lined that one up. <laughs> Must seem a little strange for, uh, for newer viewers. Let's wondering. see if it lands. That's it. Bang on. Yeah, that's great. Bang Love on. That. Hidden smoke. Don't try that in your matchmaking. Yeah, smoke doesn't work. 64 tick, but shitty. Definitely works out here. He's found himself another Duke Fasura down. Okay, and long control being taken here. Spirits MP9 is perfect in oh, this position. Yeah. It could melt him. It could be a laser when it's this close, and especially with the distraction. Shady to the headshot. Well, when he gets out, that AWP is happily collected a couple, and now Winter swings out into the fight. He will go. Spirit the victim of his rifle, and the continued push forward here from Unique, getting some ground. But Shady, oh, he's cross wide into the left side here. I don't know if he's going to be ready for that. If the peak comes out from the left side, he has to make a big flick, and the flash even set up. That just allows Winter back. No real space, no real intent yet for Unique. They have two smokes, so they are able to cross here. That should be no dramas, but it's taking the fight up towards the site that is going to be the next issue. Flashes to make this possible, nades to soften them up. You can see those just doing some flak damage and the bullet's not going to... Oh, oh. I'm going to land! Lazika double through the smoke, completely blind, and it is just Smiley on the AWP. He's going to go down too. And between the two of them, Lazika and Shady get another round on the board. All right, they'll be very... Content with that. Uh, a great round there from Shady. Just very dynamic all over the show, right? Gets the initial pick, then quickly relocates himself back to long. Good stuff from Shady. That short pick. And a quick long relocation. Very quick to the headshot. Great stuff here. For at least a respectable round. A few more perhaps to be picked up here for Quasar. Unique don't have a whole lot brought to this one. Are oh, they out past that? Incendiary towards long over towards blue bin, so this is maybe it won't be accounted for. I don't think it is. Oh. See you later, Spirit. Oh, Farrell out. Easy kill for Soro. 
Another quick acceleration up through short. It's another kill for the attacking side of Unique. This could become a bit of a disaster for Quasar. Roughly the ball against the pistols like this. While three players going back through middle to come up for the retake via short. It has to be the retake. The bomb goes down. Up upgraded weapons to two M4s now. Oh, no, Unique no, and a kill off. for Ice. Smoke goes down. Two players left to Shady and Froth, and they must feel suffocated in this position. The oh, flank around the no. backside looks to asphyxiate them further. Oh, turns a Shady, but the headshot is good from Winter. Frothy. Well, he has to be in a difficult spot and will not be able to do much about that. Oh, just the quickness of that play there from Unique. Well handled, and I think slipping the net along right there was the key. Unfortunately for Spirit, he's having a bit of a rough game. I guess the same can be said for Faxor here, and Frothy's not too far off the pace in far as that regard. They're just getting owned right now. And yeah, that's shot towards the site from Duke. He's good on the way on in, and the smoke, as soon as that lands, even though I had a gap in it, what are you meant to do? You're already down at a number disadvantage. Now you're dealing with 20 seconds worth of smoke in front of your face, and almost a tag right there on the door cross. They get the orb out again, but uh, yeah, I don't see this one long for the world. Well, Sorrow out long. Butcher Shady into the ground, and now looking for a bone-shaking second. In the smoke, one way. It's He's Sorrel. overlooked here. Oh, he is. Oh, oh. comes out the backside. Winter <laughs> anticipates to Spidey somehow. senses. Yeah, a little bit of a tingle. Oh, Faxor. Around the backside. It is frothy. There. Oh, from the smoke on Winter. Like around the back. Oh, Faxor gets turned on. Smiley with a pick. Frothy at least getting one, but it's just not enough done here. Lazuka has to pull off a massive round. He has slipped his way through, CT. Defense is downsized and will continue to be downsized until there's no one left. 15 rounds now for Unique, looking to eliminate Quasar from the RMR. Yeah, this is a very light cash here for the final round of play. Lost bonus is not there. They invested all their pennies. That's the AWP of Shady gone immediately. The little ruse in the smoke gets caught. Great awareness from Winter there. And again, on that flank, you can see Vaxor, the MP9, not enough damage done. Spotted on the way on through. Ice will grab the final kill. And this should be it right now. A bit of a deflating way to go right here for Quasar, but they showed good face. Oh, oh yeah. That's a good way to start it, isn't it? Yep, adding uh, even more punishment into the play. It will obliterate Faxor's head. Oh, Unique are going to find themselves in that uh, one two column. Some big names there. Yeah, still difficult. <laughs> it's just uh, another doesn't match. get any easier, you does got it? Another game, yeah. Yeah, this is uh, probably one of the, the easier matches you will have here if you are unique and you've been made to work. They're across. The flashes are coming through. They just need to find these final four frags. Well, Shady caught in the open. Went to with a demonic laugh. Will allow Duke Basura to follow up and Lezuka, the player we all got excited about learning how to say his name, and I still butcher it nonetheless. One v five. They started their affair versus Navi. Looks like they'll close it. Versus Unique. Lazika goes back. Scout versus Five. Moment time before this one is concluded. Lazika would be the last player to die. Gets one on the way out. It's always final kill here in Bucharest. And the final showing for Quasar. They had a good run. They showed some rounds and definitely made a statement of intent for the future. A couple of these players looking individually great. But moving forward, we will see Unique continue their run. Going to be a bit of deflating right there. I think they had their chances on overpasses the second map of play. But you can see the pure elation on the faces of Unique. Just keeping yeah. this one alive. Just smiles from ear to ear. Very happy about <laughs> this. It's ecstatic stuff as they do keep themselves alive. They avoid...